वेलकम माय फ्रेंड्स टू लेक्चर नंबर 16 एंड टुडे वी विल बी डूइंग एक्सप्लोरिंग जियोजेब्रा फर्दर रदर दैट इज सो फार व्हाट आई हैव डन इन माय प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स आई एंटर्ड इनटू जियोजेब्रा देन आई वाज इन एल्जेब्रिक मोड ऑलवेज ओके राइटिंग सम इंस्ट्रक्शन हियर getting some productive output on the graph paper and uh, uh, we have uh, used it uh, so many times but today what i am planning to do is what are the other uh, things for example algebra there is a uh, another mode of uh, using geogebra using the tools mode and there are some other modes as well for example geogebra classic that i will touch upon at the end i mean in my future lectures but today i will be telling you something about this uh, tools mode not in algebraic mode okay so let us click that and uh, it is the tools mode and here you will find some basic tools are there okay intersect it is uh, some people say it is much more user friendly than writing instructions and so on opinion may be divided but nonetheless i will also try to use this mode to do some basic things for example it says that it is the move option you can move this point etc suppose you select a point here okay and you have to choose a location here and this point appears you can select another point for example once again select a point here pretty simple no problem some people prefer this so two points have been selected clear and the coordinates of the point are this is minus one four this is minus three two and when you do these things by just uh, clicking on the icons of the things you want to do without typing anything but remember that uh, if you uh, go to algebraic mode now then you will find whatever you do in whichever mode you like for example using tools i have done this but uh, the algebraic mode will keep track of everything what you have done for example this is how we did a3 my minus 3 2 minus 1 4 and so on got the point so i have found that sometimes it is useful to use the algebra mode and tools mode in tandem that is what uh, i will try to emphasize in this lecture that is much more useful for example come to tools mode here so a b has been created okay two points have been created then you see how good it is a, a b two points have created then uh, you have several things you can choose for example you can make a line line segment okay how to do it select two points or positions points are here select them and you get a line segment got the point it looks so easy similarly you select another point for example select another point c here position only you mention c is selected go back to this segment line segment we have used line segment here then select two points so a and c and c and b like this so it becomes a triangle and let us see the algebraic mode what it is see all the a b c three points have been collect, uh, selected all the um, other objects a g and h are shown so uh, the in algebraic uh, view you can always see what has been done by clicking uh, in the tools mode whatever you do okay 
you do it and uh, you can as you know uh, if you go to tools mode and select uh, this uh, move one this point can be moved anywhere you like a point can be moved anywhere you like and as you know this will be also this changes of the coordinate of abc will be also reflected in the algebraic mode if you see them so that is there i am just uh, go very quickly uh, through this exercise for what are the other useful thing you can do very quickly for example angle you want to ang measure angle so click this then you see select three points or two lines to find out the angle between these two for example what is the angle between these two f and g okay select f and select g and this angle it is showing like this so change the order and i think you will be shown this uh, angle here 35.83 degree want to measure angle between these two line g and h so select g and h it is showing out so h and g you do so undo it and the angle between these two objects h and g is this and similarly angle between these two objects will be this one if you add them up it is going to be 180 degree no matter where these points are there so uh, to move the points you have to select this and uh, you can see uh, all the angles uh, will be changing it is uh, rather easy uh, not at all any difficult but only thing you have to scroll down to find out the things which uh, in case of uh, instruction mode it can be done my uh, much more easily as i felt so got the point similarly several other things you can do you can uh, find out the intersect for example i am just taking arbitrarily intersect intersect between two objects for example you intersect uh, this a and g the point of intersection will be this one got the point the point of intersection will be this one the, this new point d which has been created and you can see where this d is d is uh, the angle created here Minus three point eight seven three point four six. If you uh, see the settings of the, you can get a fair idea. You see the angles we created, uh, measured these angles uh, going to tools mode, but faithfully uh, those things have been nicely listed uh, between these two. Okay, angle C A B C is here, mind you. If you move. Uh, a c a d has been the point of intersection you understand so uh, these are the things you can very nicely do here okay some other things whatever is there you can always do you can draw a line line segment you can draw a vector circle semicircle what not okay so i uh, i will request you to explore these things further but uh, one uh, interesting thing i will tell uh, about uh, this more options in this one okay if you select more there are more options will come okay all other things are self explanatory if you click them uh, it will tell you what you want to do okay so that is fine now what I, I go to this one and I clear my pages without saving and it is in algebraic mode now. <clears throat> now you see what I will do. I will go to tools mode and then I will uh, go to um, that 
more option at the end then. So does it come straight away? Yes. That others, under more options there was others and there is a pain here. I will tell about this. It is uh, right or draw, as you can see, with free hand, with this uh, pain. Okay, you can draw anything. Now, when you uh, draw with your free hand, uh, in one stroke, whatever you will be drawing, that will be treated as an object. For example, I select this. I come here and draw something like this. In one stroke. You go through, as I told you, you better uh, move between algebraic mode, uh, algebra mode and tools mode. So let us see what is the consequence of this in the algebraic mode. You see, it has created an object, stroke 1, and that is the object, stroke 1. And it is just a something I have drawn in freehand. It is not a very good drawing, but whatever I, have, I could do, I have drawn something. It could be anything for that matter. You could create another, uh, say, stroke or go, go to tools mode and select your pane and you can create another object like this in one stroke sorry i have to select uh, the pane and you can create another stroke like this this is another object i have created another stroke rather See, in the algebraic mode, stroke 1 is this one and stroke 2 is this one. Okay, this two with the, uh, using free hand drawing, I have created two just uh, single objects, stroke 1 and stroke 2. Now, you can individually, uh, as uh, it, it looks like uh, the thickness is too high, etc. So, you can edit a bit uh, so that it looks a bit nicer. So, go to style, line thickness you reduce, line opacity let it be like this, it will be like this. Okay, similarly, stroke 2, you go to setting and uh, style make it is thinner and uh, let it be like this okay you could also change the color if you like for example uh, stroke one i should have done earlier to show that but anyway suppose you make it a red color okay it is red and uh, stroke two uh, go to setting it uh, uh, this is the color uh, I don't know and this uh, you go to its setting sorry and color you make it say a green one okay you do it so these are the two settings now if you have uh, uh, now, what I am going to do? So, yeah, I, I have used the tools mode uh, to draw my freehand uh, strokes. The In default, uh, the GeoGebra gives the name. So, uh, I don't change those names, stroke 1 and stroke 2. And you create this pattern. Then, uh, what else I will do here? I will create a slider. See, I am now in algebraic mode. A. Okay. And you go to its setting. Okay. And slider, you make it uh, say 1 to say 50, 5, 0. Oh, I'm sorry. 5, 0. With an increment of say 1. 
with an increment of 1. One to fifty. Okay, let me see whether it has taken. So one to fifty. Once again, go to its increment of one. It has come. One fifty increment of one. Let us do that. Okay, <clears throat> this is done. Then I will be using uh, 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 rotate each of the strokes and create a sequence so that uh, some pattern is created. That is what, if possible, I will try to do. Let us see. So, here I come and say that uh, um, sequence, I am in algebraic mode now, sequence sequence of what rotate rotate which object say stroke one stroke one comma the angle okay the angle angle is uh, what 2 pi k by a 2 pi k by a about which point say origin okay i keep it origin 0 comma 0 okay and the variation of k will be comma k comma 1 comma a comma 1 with an increment of 1. Plus sign means this instruction has been correctly implemented and it is like this. Okay. And if you vary a, you can easily see what it does. Okay. Sequence of all the patterns. Earlier we did this with some regular uh, objects, for example, circle, pentagon, this that we did in our earlier lectures. Now I am telling with freehand also you can create nice patterns. That is what I am trying to tell. So it is this one. Okay, fine. Uh, make it one once again. And now what I will do, I will also rotate this object. So, copy this instruction, duplicate input here, but this time I will rotate it uh, stroke 2. Same thing I will do and uh, it is okay, return it. See, in, in return, after you return, uh, the sequence it creates is undefined. Means it does not know what equation to attach with it. Anyway. Don't uh, be bothered so much about that. But nonetheless, it uh, treats each one of them as object. And all the sequence and rotate comments uh, are applicable to any object you like. So, so it will do the thing in the same way. For example, you see, if you do like that, uh, you get a pattern like this. So, you must understand what um, <laughs> the what I want to say is that even uh, if you are not a very good painter with free hand like me, you can with one stroke draw something which may not be that beautiful. But uh, uh, if you uh, use the sequence and rotate comments uh, nicely, it can also create uh, beautiful patterns. Isn't it? Just sequence of events. Not bad at all. Got the point. And <clears throat> you can, of course, uh, play this and see for which value of A the pattern looks beautiful to you or to others, 
that you freeze it and then do it other things got the point so uh, try to uh, see that what i am telling so what is the conclusion of this lecture is this one that uh, i have introduced to you without algebraic mode you can work in other uh, folder as a other mode of uh, of using geogebra for example i selected geogebra mode i just showed you these things which are self explanatory but i did something so that you are encouraged to explore the other possibilities here but um, for example you can uh, uh, draw a segment you can draw a point uh, you can find out angles these are very useful things then uh, whatever you do in the tools mode if you click the algebra mode here uh, you will find whatever you have done in the tools mode those things are listed there nicely which i was typing straight away otherwise you have to scroll it here nothing wrong in that some people will use this one uh, they are very much familiar with that so uh, i thought i will also introduce uh, that concept to you then lastly what i told you uh, if you come to the end of this tools mode there will be more options where others are there and there there is a, a pane available here which is a free hand uh, thing so pane is here you can draw anything you like but with in one stroke for example you can draw a thing like this okay this is one stroke and the moment you do it uh, go to the algebraic mode you will find it has created another new stroke tree as an object this object and then you can uh, move this object uh, edit this object as usual by selecting its setting color it this that and also can create beautiful patterns even though this this uh, starting stroke may not be that uh, nice to look at uh, but uh, eventually by using the sequence and rotate command uh, you can make beautiful patterns like that hope you have understood what i uh, tried to convey use algebra algebra mode and tools mode in tandem and you can create more beautiful things which will be nice to look at hope uh, you have enjoyed this uh, lecture and we'll continue with other modes of operation of geogebra in the next lecture thank you so much